Hi guys, so this is like really awkward. I feel like the camera is so far away. Anyway, I feel like I've been putting off reorganising my shelves for the longest time. Um, so I have a feeling this is going to be a bit of a project. And I think because I'm starting at like 5 o'clock or whatever, um, I'm mostly going to put like little clips of these in. Also, I want to install shelves as well. And I don't have all the drill bits and stuff to do that at the moment. So obviously I'm going to have to wait until I get around to doing that. My battery has just decided to go down to one bar, so that's that's always fun. Um, but yeah, I basically want to reorganise the whole of my shelves. This is what we've got kind of going on at the moment, so I'll give you a quick talk through. And then I think I will show you my bookmarks that I've got, because I don't know, I feel like I've been wanting to show you guys my bookmarks for a while. Um, and some of them obviously are in use already, so I'll have to try and remember to just do like a little snippet where I show you those ones that are in use. But currently I've got like a mix match of shelves. I'll try to move all the stuff on the floor that I can move. Um, it's still kind of cluttered to be fair. But I know I'm going to need space to put books. So at the moment I've got like sort of specific shelves, sort of not. Over here I've got what I assume to be like my fantasy shelves. Over here it seems to be like um, an author spotlight but also other things have spilled into it so it's Neil Gaiman but then I've got like poetry, thrillers, some witch books, it's a bit of a mashup over here. This one here you might have seen with books on top of it before but they were unread and I just stacked them there for the time being, ended up prolonging into forever. But this is literally just a display shelf so I just want to make sure I've got books in all of them so I'm having to think about where I'm going to put my simsums and little figures and stuff. Over here isn't really a specific shelf it's just accidentally turned into, I don't know how well you can see that, accidentally turned into a DVD, an unread shelf with one book further over here that I have already read. Coming down here now we've got some more fantasy, this seems to be like a dragon themed shelf. Then we've got YA fantasy, so we've got like, you know, uh, Throne of Glass and whatever, I can't remember what the series is called, seems to be that sort of stuff. Here again, it's some random like books of like 50 scary stories, 50 vampire stories, things like that, um, but then it's been pushed aside for DVDs and book stuff like bookmarks and that. Over here seems to be a Twilight section, but again it's been pushed to the back with DVDs, this is kind of the shelf I put the books that I've finished in a month ready for my video as well as films that I watched in a month ready for my videos. Moving down, I know you can't really see now, but we have, I don't even know what this shelf is. It's just like, I think it's supposed to be contemporary, but I don't, I, I'm so glad you can't really see that it's a state. Over there we've got graphic novels and manga and picture books. Uh, manga spills over to the next one, it's mainly Death Note but other things as well. Um, then we've got a shelf that just seems to have like PC and Nintendo DS games. And right at the bottom where you really can't see, I've got like middle grade books I have started. I don't know why I've got a shelf like that but that's where that is. Then I've got sort of uh, middle grade children books, Jacqueline Wilson, that sort of thing. Further along, middle grade again, but it's mainly focusing on Rick Riordan's books. And then on the other last bottom one you really can't see, it's got all my wonderful world of knowledge books. They're like Disney, like mini encyclopedias that I can't let myself chuck away. I've given away like this whole section of Barbie books that I had before. It was, it was almost like a similar format and um, there was like 40 plus stories and I gave those away or sold them or whatever when I was really young after I grew up and I kind of regret it. So <laughs> that's what we have to work with. What I'm gonna do I think is I'll start, oh my god this is so daunting, I'm gonna start removing the shelves first and then once I've put everything back on the shelves eventually I will leave the top of the shelves for the last minute because I feel like I might need, I don't know, some extra storage, some other shelves to properly sort this out. Um, so yeah, I'm, God, I'm going to start removing all the books and then I'll have to put them into order I guess. Um, for which specific shelves I want to be which, which I'll discuss a bit better in a bit but I forgot to say that yeah I want to do my bookmark thing. These are all my old bookmarks, some of them are new, most of them that are old are handmade. You'll see 
a lot of god worshipping stuff because i made a lot of these bookmarks when i went to like sunday school and stuff so that's kind of the theme it actually sparked an inspiration in me to use like my stickers and really cool like labels and stuff to make some more bookmarks i have always saved things like that but i've never really known what to use them on so i guess i could use them on bookmarks so the ones that can't fit into my little cup over here they aren't they're not necessarily actually bookmarks but they're just things i have that i use for them so i have this thing that i remember taking from the bank one time they had loads of these i like postcards um and it's a old-fashioned one pound note that i use as one then i've got this spring collection 2015 from bh cosmetics i use those these are the sort of things i use as bookmarks i've got a miss peregrine's home for peculiar children just like a label thing another thing that i got from bank can you tell i go with lloyd's bank <laughs> this is one of my old ones that i've made oh my god i don't think i've used this in years this says my name imogen oh i don't think i made this one someone made this for me a girl called abigail oh my god I used to be such good friends with her and then she moved and I couldn't find, like I couldn't get in contact with her, oh my god. Um, it says <laughs> nurse, hairdresser, artist at home, designer, scientist, I think that's what she thought I could be. There's a little section here by my other friend. Double act, it says what Katie did and then it says something about my cousin reading. I really don't know <laughs> what this writing is but there's that. And then I'll show you the stuff that I keep in my Harley Quinn cup because I broke the handle so I can't drink out of it anymore but it's all in here. So I've got like a little sort of Lego looking light that is a book light. It's not strong enough to show you because I've got my big light on so you can't really see. It is off isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and then let me just get everything out. I have this, it's Tribu, Tribal Body Adornment. I think it's a little advertisement from somewhere when I was in London. I've got a Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children one. This is for Map of Days. Normal people, it says not all of us find normal people as interesting as you do. Then I've got this one, it says Magical Books, Prints, Artwork and Fabric. This is what I got in Matic the Hair, the little box that I unboxed recently. This is just one of their business cards. Then there's this one, it's been from Waterstones most likely, it's cats running in a field and they move. Then I've got this, what even is it? I think it might have been from, I don't know, My Animal Farm, perhaps a magazine? I don't know, but you can colour in this horse. <laughs> and this is another one that I think I stuck together from a Hello Kitty thing, I don't know. And there's this one, a Waterstones one. This is quite old. It had waterstones.com written at the top, but it ripped off. <laughs> Only recently, actually. Then there's this Builder Bear one. It says learn and read and grow. Yeah, it's got three different things that it says. Really old one here. I think my mum gave this to me. No, she didn't give it to me. It's from my school. I don't want to show you too much, but it's from my old primary school. Then there's this one, um, EssexGov.uk, online magazine. Don't know where that came from, probably EssexGov.uk, online magazine. <laughs> and then I've got this, um, Get Booked Up. I remember they gave us a uh, choice to choose one of these books for free when I was like in year eight or something. I ended up choosing Scarlet uh, by Kathy Cassidy. Really enjoyed that book actually. So there's that. I keep meaning to go back and check out the other books that I was interested in at the time to see what I think of them now, but I haven't got a chance to do that. Then here's one of my God ones. I don't, I did, definitely didn't make this one. I don't know where we got this, but it must have been church somewhere. There is Joy in the Lord. It's actually quite a cute little one. Then there's this. It says, books are my bag. Books are my bag. There we go. And just in case I didn't know, I've written Jen's bookmark. Then we've got a Heroes of Olympus advertisement one. It also has Diary of a Wimper Kid on the back too. <laughs> a random High School Musical 3 one. Probably from some sort of annual book or whatever. Chicken and Frog Bookshop. This is a shop in Brentwood, I think, when I used to do volunteering 
up in the area I used to whenever I could go into the shop and have a little look around and this came with one of my purchases I think that's when I bought the Shiva books by Maggie Stavata um, so yeah I want to pop back into that shop again actually this is the Lord's Prayer <laughs> then we have read roll doll and let the fun begin or maybe I'll use this for my roll doll read a fun that's probably been and gone by now this video is so long and I haven't even got to the <laughs> the bookshelves part yet here's another one it says Gen 313 and it's got I don't know some bits and bobs all over it literally a piece of paper but it looks like it's from Tracy Ge Tracy Geeker Tracy Beaker because it's got that Nick is it Nick Sharrett Nick something his illustrations I recognize there then there's this one another one I made Imogen's it says <laughs> Another one that's handmade and from church. There we go. And it's got something about the Lord on the other side. Then this bubbly one, which is another thing about about Lord. It's got my name on the back. Then this is from my school. I'm just trying to see if it's got my school name on it. But we had an opportunity to put our faces on bookmarks with our um, yeah, yearly photos or whatever. So we've got some of those. Team Read, oh, I used to compete, not compete, but I used to do the reading challenges for summer at the libraries. Another handmade one, um, what's it say? Imogen, and then my last name. And it says, I'm on this page because I tend to, I don't know, I didn't. I always got confused knowing like which page was mine, like which page was I actually on. Usually these days, um, the prettier side, the side that I like the best of, the bookmark, is the side that's pointing on the page that I'm on, if that makes any sense. Um, here's another one of me. <laughs> and then we've got the reading roller coaster, which was another old reading challenge. Oh, I've got another one of these bookmarks. Some sort of wavy shit pattern thing. Another one of these bookmarks. I was legit thinking that I was just putting the same one back in there. Why have I got so many of these? Then I've got this one, which is like a little book thing. It's all my old, like, best friends. And on one side, it's got my family. On the other side, it's got my friends. That's so cute. I don't really want to show you in case I've got information. But it's got, like, dad, brother, nan, granddad, uncle, auntie, cousin, cousin. And on the other side, it's got old friends oh that's so cute and then shadow and silver that were my cats at the time how adorable and then lastly <laughs> at least for those that's in here right to hand um it's another one of me <laughs> okay so i'm just going to charge up my battery a bit because i know it's going to die in a moment and then i'll come back and you'll see me start removing things i think i'm probably going to leave putting books Basically, let me quickly just say, what I wanted to do was have specific shelves for, spe for specific things, which I'll tell you later on, but the unread versions of those genres or whatever I want for each shelf, I want to have a selection of those unread books behind the read ones so that I can easily, like my most desired read or just a selection of them, so that there's more on my shelves for me to see and be able to remember what I have in that. Um, but what I think I'll do for now is just remove everything and then hopefully today I'll put everything back where they should go but I'll bring them all forward and then over the course of however long this little project takes I'll start putting the unread books behind you hopefully that makes more sense as this goes on um, but yeah I will charge you up and I'll be right back Right, so I have cleared the first four shelves. Oh, things are dropping down. And I thought it would make more sense to kind of put things back as I go, rather than having this intimidating massive pile of books everywhere. Because I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna head that way quickly if you can see all those books on the floor there. So, starting off with the furthest corner, let me, let me just get my notes. We have, um my fantasy shelf so this is going to be interesting because i've got a lot of a lot of fantasy you might see me picking things out from other sections 
Um, so yeah, I've just got basically a wide variety of fantasy. If anything changes, or perhaps I have too much for one category, I I will let you know. I was gonna make like a little pile, like a little notes to stick on each piles, but that's irrelevant now. But yeah, so basically after I did my unread book uh, video, I just thought, guys, I need to sort this out. So yeah, I'm definitely sticking with the idea that I suggested in that one, if any of you had seen. So yes, fantasy, and then let's see how it spills out. This second one is gonna be occult, non-fiction, and fairy tales. This third one is gonna be, oh, and like myths, that sort of stuff, myths and legends. Third is gonna be sci-fi, fourth contemporary again it might not stay exactly like that but i'll update you as things go on so yeah so i've got to remember that even though some of these books would fit for a certain category of genre i'm gonna also still try and have specific author shelves so the ones that i remembered that are going to be specific author ones i've had to leave them aside but i'm getting myself confused i don't know why i'm so overwhelmed but i am <laughs> So this is what I've managed to do so far. You'll see the neater ones clearly, well, hopefully clearly, have been touched and reorganised and everything. So I'll just quickly talk you through what I've organised so far. Things have been moving, as I mentioned, and they might not stay in this order. But so far, the first two shelves here are fantasy. So of course it would spill over into this one. I do have some books at the back. They're not unread, but they're the ones that I like the least. I might have to do an unhaul or something one day but I'm so mentally uh, attached to um, my books and then we've got like the occult, uh, mythology, um, historical things such such as that, fairy tales all together um, you will see quite a few things have been uh, squidged together if I've got less of both genres and they sort of make sense to go together perhaps then I've got over here sci-fi and thriller moving down this is one of my favorite author shelves it's actually got three favorite authors on there i managed to squeeze them on we've got neil gaiman there um garth nix and for some reason i didn't put a garth nix section there i don't know why he pretty much has his own one anyway because i've got so many of his books and uh sarah j mass and then over here's another favorite author shelf this is clearly rick riordan over here i haven't touched that was that random dvd one haven't touched this one either down here um, is the literary fiction, general fiction, um, stuff that doesn't really have a theme like, like how to care for a hamster book. I've got some poetry in there as well, just those sort of things that I don't have a lot of on their own but yeah I've even got some short story collections but I feel like that counts maybe in a way as liter literary, I don't know. Um, and a biography just because I feel like it, it makes sense with this i feel um having read these books i feel like they go together all right or they they all somehow end up on this side this was one of the shelves up here i think it was the fourth one but i had to move it down because i didn't want it to disrupt the favorite author shelves um and obviously i had to add another fantasy one this one i didn't bother touch because it it was in the right place um i don't mind keeping these here uh, this is the graphic novel picture book section, although I might still have a tidy up and move the Funko Pops and stuff. Over here is still the manga section. I've moved middle grade and children over here. Middle grade and children, um, uh, it probably will also spill over to this section as well, so I haven't bothered touched that just yet. But here I had, oh this was another one I moved from the top earlier on, um, but this is contemporary. Uh, that's an empty one. Oh, look at my wall behind. Oh, it's horrible. And then that's not been touched either. So that's what I'm leaving it as today. I have started to put random things back on place, but that's just to get them off of my bed. Um, because, as you can see, there's a lot of little figures and stuff on my on my bed that doesn't have a home anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
so far so good i'll update you when i decide to do some more on this hi guys so it's the 12th of november i can't remember the last time i came on here to do this little uh, vlog piece but i've decided i'm currently going to okay so here's the thing actually i haven't gone through all my shelves yet though the ones that are half done in terms of they have books in the order that i want them to be on i'm gonna do what i said earlier and put stacks of unread books that are in that genre or sort of fit that theme behind just so at least each cubby is full even though i haven't done the whole bookshelf if that makes sense so i'm gonna get some piles of books um i think i'm gonna focus on the box of books that i physically have out over there that you can probably see you probably see dirty clothes on the floor in a mess um and yeah i'll do a couple of stacks and let you know where my thought process is after that i think i just spat ew so these are my little piles at the moment sorry i've just kind of chucked some bits around um, so it's nothing like extensive, I haven't done for like a lot of the shelves, but I've got my little piles of unread books that I'm going to pop behind places. This is probably going to be another little miniature working process with that, uh, regarding this, but now that I've sort of shown you the concept in my mind, and I'll show you in a second me placing them where I feel like they need to go, um, I won't have to keep coming on here and updating you with that, hopefully until like the final part when I've got it looking good, <laughs> I hope. Um, but here's like... My occult fiction, um, charms, uh, religion, that sort of stuff. But I know this sounds contradictory. I've also decided to pop my... I've got a message. I was just saying I'm listening to Tenacious D, but I've just got a WhatsApp message. I don't really want you guys to know my personal business, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, I've decided to put um, some graphic novels on that shelf. Completely random, but what it is, I haven't at this moment sorted out my graphic novels um, section. I think it's because I was going to leave it as it is, but I'm still undecided. So for the time being, that can be housed there. Um, it's not a very, <laughs> it's not a very busy shelf at the moment like that. I can see through the gap. So that's like my fairy tales, occult, religion, yada 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 yada. I just hit the camera, sorry. So I can clearly see through there. So hopefully, I'll remember that I've got those graphic novels just chilling over there. And then here's my fantasy. Now I do have a specific section for Sarah J Mass. Again, I'm sort of picking and choosing in my own way that I feel like I'd understand and that I won't forget. But, you know, just for logistics and for you guys, you can keep it stuck to specific cubbies if it helps you. If you are deciding to follow along with me, though I doubt you are. Um, so yeah, I would have popped this behind, but that's one of my shelves that I'm trying to keep neat and maybe finished i don't know i'm sort of going with the flow so i've decided just to stick that with my other fantasy unreads and i'll pop that over here it's the first shelf if you can see of like aragon um peculiar hobbit that sort of stuff over there so i'll pop those there as well again um as this goes i'll add more to the piles as many as can fit behind um, in the shelves and then I'll try and go through them as my more priority. I do have a few like priorities here in this pile at the moment but I'm hoping to make them more on my shelves as the more priority as as I go through the process. And then I've got here like general fiction and stuff so I thought this would count as general fiction because um and the ocean was the sky it, it's like a retelling of the um, moby dick but from the wow's perspective um so i thought i'd pop that there but i'm not too sure now i think i might have to move that so it's chilling with the graphic novels over here just so they're all it's got a little bit of continuity in it if that's the word and then lastly here's that other shelf is another mixed up shelf with like sci-fi um horror and something else thriller now i feel like this is a thriller i haven't read them properly so perhaps i've categorized them wrong but that's my own human error these are like horror slash like sci-fi and then i'm still undecided about this i feel like it's some sort of like magical realism I'm, i might be completely wrong uh, my friend gave this to me maria and i can't remember how she like described it to me but i feel like it's also like maybe contemporary maybe uh, i'm just not too sure but i feel like it's got a thriller in i don't know i might be completely messing this up but i'm sticking these all together as my unreads behind those so these hopefully one day will become my priority get to the ones behind the reds first and they should be more easily accessible because i can like see behind them i can just keep like pulling out random ones just to check what's behind them in theory 
I feel like it's more accessible than keeping like every single unread thing either on the floor or in a box under my bed, do you know what I mean? So yes, and breathe. <laughs> Okay guys, so I think I'm going to call this done now. I know I haven't put up any new shells, but it's just dragging now. So if anything comes of that, I'm sure I'll update you in a video or a vlog or something. But I just thought this little compilation of clips is really dragging out now. And I just kind of want to edit it and put it up for you. So yeah, do excuse all the mess that is still left on the floor. I haven't tackled the top part yet, but I'm not too sure what I want to do. Miniature little desk tidy thing that I want to get for my desk, but if it sits right, I'll get another one and pop it up here. Maybe I'm still I'm in an area that obviously I'm still deciding on shelves for the walls and stuff. So I'm just trying to think of storage that's practical and that looks good, you know. So yeah, it's definitely taking too long to include all that in here. So I'm just going to call this it. I do have still one empty box. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. It might overlap into something as I've already got some shelves that are overlapping um, because the genre is too big or I've got too many books in that genre rather. This little one here, that's just a random quick makeshift thing. I haven't put all my little decorations back up um, yet but I just wanted those off my floor and those like the books that I've currently read for the month sort of thing so I usually perch them on my bookshelf somewhere and I thought I'd pop them back there. But I will tell you, let me get my handy dandy notes, what I've got in each shelf. Let me just get my little phone right so in the first two shelves you will see fantasy um i do think at some point i might end up splitting it into like high fantasy sort of thing loosely into that and then ya fantasy because i'm thinking of maybe making that shelf that i'm not too sure yet though or one of those kind of technically empty shelves then next we've got um, let me read it off because it's quite a, a mashup of stuff so I'll probably have to keep this list somewhere but we've got in the third cubby occult non-fiction um, fairy tales myths religion that sort of stuff um, again myths non-fiction you know fact fact books such as like ancient Egypt Greek myths that sort of stuff is what I meant then in the fourth cubby I've got sci-fi thriller and horror squeezed in there um, I will say some of these are double stacked with books that I've read. Um, I'm still not happy about that, but I don't know any other way to display stuff. I can always do a little move around when I'm fancying a change. And then some of them, um, if they can fit, they've got books that I want to read behind those. So thirdly stacked in or, for example, like this first shelf immediately behind are books that I want to read in that genre fairly soon. And then we're dropping down to the second row now. So in the fifth box, we have fave author shelf and that is Neil Gaiman um, we've also got uh, Sarah J Mass and Garth Nix all in one over there this might be something that expands um, in the future I don't know um, but right now it fits quite neatly together over there um, in the same cubby next is another fave author shelf this is Rick Riordan um, I am planning to read his two newer series soon so again that might be something that needs to expand eventually but for now this is how it all works next up we've got another favourite author shelf and this is George R. R. Martin I always feel a bit funny saying my favourite author because I've only read two of his books but they're hefty books and I feel like they're enough to give me a gauge on whether I like him as an author or not do you know what I mean and then this shelf is kind of like just chilling on its own um, yeah I don't really know what I want to do yet I might split the wire fantasy or perhaps at some point I might split my next shelf which I talk about in a minute which is the minute is now um, literary fiction general fiction poetry nature writing that sort of stuff I might um, split it into non-fiction and poetry and keep that in another cubby and then keep the like literary fiction and general fiction together uh, that might make sense but again for now it's all right then the ones I haven't touched are the two um, graphic novel shelves and then the manga shelves just there 
and then next over we have middle grade that's looking quite nice i've got all my red jacqueline wilson's all my old children's books right behind and then the more newer ones that i've read i don't know more of my adult years um that are near the front and then in just that little space in the gap there are some books that i want to read within that genre following it down we've got a continuation which is very sparse at the moment there was a little spider in there actually that I had to take off of my book earlier um, but in there we have oh I notice you can see some card writing um, <laughs> we have middle grade continued um, it was just going to be a Harry Potter shelf but it's going to look sparse because I'm still currently like reading the series so I've made it like an extension of middle grade and then Harry Potter but I assume Harry Potter will take up most of that shelf eventually and then here we've got like contemporary um, I don't really know. I mixed it with historical fiction, which is funny because like contemporary is modern. Historical fiction is not modern. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I've also got some like, I think a self-help sort of book. I don't know. Um, in there as well. Nice bright shelf there. Then this is the empty space and then right tucked over in the corner, I decided um, I already had like my discover what they called, Disney um, encyclopedias stashed right at the back. I don't know how well you'll be able to see. Nah, not at all, sorry. Um, but then I decided to move my Twilight books, basically all my Stephanie, what's her name? Stephanie Myers, Myers? I can't remember her name, oh my god, that's crazy. All her books I've put down to the bottom as well, because I don't want to chuck them away, but they're not, it's like, silly enough to say they're not current enough to have on like my main section that you would all see. And also, I don't know, they're just, they're just older books and I've got more things that I want to showcase that are, are more wanting to promote <laughs> I guess if that makes sense I haven't read those books in absolute years either so it just makes sense for them to be pushed down a little bit more anyway that is my strange layout let's do a little pan you live a high life through your fantasies never... hope you've enjoyed this video let me spin you around I feel like I'm just talking to nothingness. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I know it's been a bit random. Perhaps it's given you a bit of inspiration for how you want to um, style your bookshelves of late. I just felt like I needed to do something, you know, just just something to just neaten it up because it was getting really crazy. And I feel like this makes me feel a little bit more organised in my brain so that I can continue and get some more storage and then sort of pan it out a little bit more easier. Um, as I go but I am rambling as always so I'm gonna go now and I'll speak to you in another video soon bye my cheeks is warm we need lubrication honey